Okay, so in this tutorial type video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom class portraits. Uh, it's at the top of the screen. It's it's class portrait. It's what you see, you know. If, oh no. You know, at the top, you'll see that's the gray and everything. Um, the it's it's pretty simple to make. You know, all classes too. But I have mine in distinct ways. You know, red is facing right, blue is facing left. It's just easier to to uh, distinguish them. So how do how do we go about doing that? Well, it's fairly simple. So you'll need you'll need VTF edit or Photoshop or GIMP. Yeah, either one works. I just have Photoshop. Um, and you're gonna want some picture of something. It can be something with a face or, or whatever you're gonna use. Um, minimize this, put it over here. <clears throat> and it's gonna have to be in a 1024 by 1024. So I'll just pick something out real quick. Have we have our picture, a funny banny. But first, you want to go into your custom folder and make. If you don't have a custom folder, just go to your TF folder, uh, right-click, new folder, nip custom folder. It does, doesn't matter what it's called. I just called it improved class portraits. Doesn't have to be what. Doesn't have to be that exactly. Then in that, you're going to want materials, and then VGY, class underscore portraits, and this is where all the portraits go. There are a lot of portraits, because you need, you need the, the red portrait, the blue portrait, the, the blue portrait that displays they're dead, and the red portrait that displays they're dead. But it's, ver it's very easy to make, to make these. Unless you just want one picture for the entirety of of one, like you want, let's see, like, like, like you want this, you want the funny banny as just the demo man, or if you're insane, you can just use them all for this. You can use one picture for every single one. I I don't know about that, but you, know, you do you. Okay, so we have our picture here. We have funny banny. We're gonna go to file. See, I should also mention that. When choosing a picture, you should really go for just, just the face. Like you don't have to, like you don't have to really do this if you don't want to. But it doesn't, really, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, go to file, save as. Uh, make sure it's a PNG. And then just save to your desktop. Doesn't matter. Yep. I'm gonna minimize this. Pull over VTF edit. File import and find that picture desktop right here hit open keep these the same uh, if you want to copy it go for it hit ok it'll load there we go don't change any of these everything else is fine Let's file save as and now it is a vtf file so now we can go into our portraits and you can save it as whatever. So if you wanted heavy blue gray, if you wanted to display uh, a blue heavy that is dead, just type heavy underscore blue underscore uh, gray and hit save. I already have one, so I'm not going to display it. But if all done correctly, it should be what you did. If that made sense. I don't know if that made sense or not. But you can you can toy around with it. You can put whatever you want. You can put the actual TF2 classes. You can put like some dumb meme or whatever. You can put, you know, as I did earlier, funny banny. But yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll 
probably answer them. I don't look at comments a lot. But anyway, I uh, hope hope you found this helpful. If you didn't, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it though.